Hey everybody, my name is Rudy Basso and I'm one of the co-owners of Don't Split the Podcast Network, a podcast network featuring a number of tabletop and video game related podcasts. Today I'm going to show you a very basic way to edit an episode of a show with multiple recording tracks in Adobe Audition. Now Adobe Audition is not a free program like, say, Audacity, but it has a lot of powerful built-in editing tools and... I think is a much cleaner looking program in general. While I wouldn't say Audition is essential for anything that I'm going to show you today, I do think it's necessary to edit one of my other podcasts, which is a fully produced audio drama with music and sound effects and many, many, many tracks from, from my actors. Uh, I'll make a tutorial of that at some other point. Uh, before we begin, though, I do want to say that this is how I do it. Um, there's, like I said, a lot of really cool tools and filters and post-processing things in Audition that I simply do not know. I'm entirely self-taught. I've never taken a class on Adobe Edition or anything like that. And uh, this is just how I do it. Now, I'm very happy with how it turns out. But if you really want to dig deep, I'm sure there's a way to make it sound even better and probably ways to uh, automatically apply some of the effects that I'm going to be doing today. Okay, let's get to it. First things first, we've got our three audio tracks that are raw, our raw audio tracks that we dragged into Audition. Now, this is a very simple naming convention. Alex, Blake, and Rudy One. Mmm, nice. Very professional. So let's do some cleanup of what it sounds like. Now, here's uh, Alex talking obviously that's why we have these waves a balance sounds good but here's the background noise when alex is not talking uh you can't really notice it here but it's there and it's annoying i think now you might like having room tone in your podcast uh, we recorded in separate locations but room tone kind of makes it seem like you're all in the same place uh, i personally don't like it um, you can even see alex's wave is a little bit more than mine and uh, a little bit more than Blake's as well. So we're going to go through all of these. We're going to take a big portion where Alex didn't talk and we're just going to use the noise reduction tool. We're going to capture this. This is our noise print and we're going to apply our noise reduction to the entire, we're not going to touch this, we're just going to apply to the entire track. And we're going to do that on all three of these. And you can already see the difference and hear the difference. Uh, so here is it with with our process done, and here is it without. So with, without. Noticeable difference. Okay, so we've got our three uh, tracks cleaned up a little bit. Let's go ahead and make our audio track session. Uh, Game O'Clock, episode 8-1. Cool. Okay, so let's just drag down, we'll drag our audio tracks into our multi-session. But wait, uh, these were all recorded at different times, so how do we know they're synced up? Well, uh, let me tell you. Now, if you've ever seen behind the scenes for a movie or a TV show, you, you'll notice they use that clapper. Um, that's actually to sync up audio with video. Unfortunately, with podcasts, there is no video, so there's no way to sync it up visually. Instead, we have to find another way to sync up our uh, tracks. And to do that, before you begin officially recording, have everyone say something at the same time. I know it's hard to kind of time out, but if you just count it down and say something like 3, 2, 1, record at the same time, it'll be synced up on your own. We found that recording and then saying something at the same time is easier than everyone trying to time out hitting record at the same time. So like I said, we literally just have all of us say three, two, one, record. I've already synced it up beforehand so I can line it up and you can kind of hear what it sounds like. Uh, here we go. Three, three two, two, one, one, one record. record, one, one record. record. Great, good, very professional. And then from there, we find the intro, which is right here. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to Game O'Clock. And then we just delete everything beforehand and ta-da. There we have our entire synced up podcast. So we've got our synced up three audio files. We're done with our podcast editing, right? Wrong. If you're serious, okay. If you're serious about podcasting, then you really want to listen to the entire thing over again. And you want to take out 
moments of silence where no one speaks, uh, extended pauses. Sometimes the uhs and ums that naturally come in a conversation can really detract from the listening experience. So you just want to go through the entire thing and take those out. In this case, it would take me at least 40 minutes to listen to the entire thing. But it makes for a better podcast. It makes for a better listening experience. And ultimately, that's what you want. You know, regardless of how good your uh, content is, the conversation you're having, or whatever you're doing for your podcast, you can give yourself the edge by putting in as much time as you possibly can to make it sound as good as it possibly can. Here's a perfect example of something that I've pinpointed that kind of could be cleaned up a little. Uh, we have Blake says something, then Alex says something, and then I go, uh, we don't need this. Just here's what it sounds like. Enjoy. Yeah, and, and is, another interesting... We don't need that, or whatever I said. It's weird, and it doesn't matter, because Alex kind of took the conversation over. And in fact, if you really want to go into it, there's this pause for an entire second. We can just take that out, too. Here's what it sounds like now. Enjoyed. Yeah, and, and... No pause. No boo boo. That I really enjoyed. Yeah, and... and... Sounds perfectly natural, and it cleans it up a little bit. Now, that's the kind of, like, real detailed stuff you could do if you want. If you don't, that's fine, too. Uh, but really, do take the, that little extra effort and listen to your show and get rid of the stuff you really don't need. And just kind of show you of what uh, a finished, fully edited show looks like for me. Um, this is our, again, this is our kind of raw start. This is an example of one that I've gone through and kind of finished. Okay, so we've got our show synced up. We're going to put our theme music in at the beginning and our theme music in at the end. We'll kind of fix the length of that later. But we want to do a little bit more to make it sound better. And for that, we're going to put two track effects on each one of these uh, tracks. Um, we're going to use a preset I made called Booster that adds two things. Uh, the first is Tube Model Compressor. Now, there are a lot of compressors preset into uh, Adobe Audition. You see multi-band, single band. I've always used Tube Modeled. It's just the one I've used. <laughs> I don't really know the differences. You know, the general rule of thumb is... Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, don't do a ton of post-production. I think uh, it's pretty obvious what it sounds like with and without. So this is it without the compressor. Close. It's just like I, I completely, I think Blake, you hit it on the head. This is it with the compressor. I suppose. It's just like I, I completely, I think Blake, you hit it on the head. It gives a cleaner, louder sound that makes for a better listening experience. The other effect I use is just a simple hard limiter. Now, because we're not recording in the same environment, because we're not recording on the same equipment, the levels are going to be different. Uh, each person's individual volume level is going to be different. You know, uh, you can even see here, Alex is much louder than mine. So to kind of make sure no one sounds incredibly loud versus everyone else, I just put this hard limiter on, which caps the volume of each track so no matter what no one will go over a certain point now i set this to negative six i think that's a good volume i think that's a good level to cap everyone at it's weird to hear someone explode over someone else in the conversation in terms of volume and that's about all i do really you know the more time you put into a podcast the more time you put into learning what all of these tools in audition do the better a show you're going to have. It's just a matter of how far do you want to take this hobby. This has served me well so far. Uh, if I were to be doing this for money, if this was more than just a hobby for me, then I'm sure that I will be looking into other things like loudness matching. I would be spending more time looking into these compression effects. So yeah, I hope this has helped you and I hope you have a wonderful day as well.